Hey everybody, in my kitchen again, making another something sweet. I must be on a kick with sweet treats these days. I was inspired by an old recipe growing up, which is a zucchini bread. My grandparents tended our home garden and my grandmother used to make us fresh loaves of zucchini bread. So I had that on my mind. That's what we're gonna make today. A perfect way to feature seasonal produce, a great way to incorporate vegetables into a sweet treat and a dessert type food. This is a great way to get your kids on board with eating more vegetables by sort of masking the flavor here. Although zucchini is a very neutral, delicate flavor, so it pairs really well with um, our sweet ingredients. You won't notice this stand out in the bread, so if you're nervous about the taste, don't be, I encourage you to give it a try. This is a great season for zucchini. So head to the store or your farmer's market. I'm gonna use a base of almond flour and I like to bake with this pretty frequently because it's naturally wheat and gluten free. Um, I try and minimize those in my diet for personal health reasons, but also I love the nutty texture and the taste, and it's naturally lower in carbohydrate, higher in protein. So for individuals looking to watch the blood glucose and the insulin levels, or following a low carbohydrate eating pattern, almond flour is often a staple when you're making swaps in your baked goods. So a great alternative. We'll supplement that with a little oat flour. So I've just taken old fashioned oats, and ground them up in a Vitamix or a food processor to a fine powder, like a flour. You could use an all-purpose here if you don't mind adding some wheat. You could use a coconut flour, which is really delicate and soft. Um, any other all-purpose gluten-free flour would work. I'm gonna give it a try with oat flour today. Add a little more fiber and minerals in a whole form. We do need eggs, so when you're baking something without wheat or gluten, especially with almond flour, the recipe typically requires a little more egg for the added protein, um, it works as a binder and a leavener. So I'm using three eggs in this recipe. Some vanilla, some cinnamon for a nice flavor. My oil of choice is avocado oil. A lot of quick breads use an unsaturated plant oil. In place of a canola, I'm using avocado. I like its neutral flavor. I also like its fatty acid profile. Unsaturated, very similar to olive oil. I've mentioned coconut sugar in the past. This is the granulated sugar I have on hand. It tends to affect blood sugar a little less. Notice it says low glycemic. That means it tends to have less of a spike. However, I don't believe that it has that significant of a blood um, sugar effect. So I just use it for the flavor and for the fact that it's naturally less refined than something like a bleached white sugar. It carries some additional minerals um, just by nature of um, the processing and the, the source. So that's what I have on hand. You could use maple syrup or honey or a traditional white granulated sugar, if that's what you got. Baking powder, uh, a little salt, and that's it. So this will be a one bowl recipe. We'll whip it up in here. I'm making two little loaves today. We'll pop them in the oven and enjoy some fresh bread.
show you guys this final product. It is not a super high riser, so don't feel bad that the loaf is tiny. If you've made two, if you made one large loaf, it will be a little thicker, but it's so moist and light. It falls apart in your mouth. It feels so light and fluffy.